Hey family, listen, I hope you're doing good. So I wanna share this uh, real quick with you. I'm not gonna take a lot of time. So after that, I'm gonna go to sleep. So listen, so many flights, um, approximately thousands of flights were canceled. Uh, American airline um, canceled like flights from all over the place. And um, a lot of flights canceled from uh, Atlanta. A lot of flights were canceled other parts of the uh, United States as well. So many people are very mad right now because the flights were canceled unexpectedly. And now it is very hard to predict what is going to happen next because people who returning back from business trip or family vacation or, or pleasure trip, whatever, no, no matter where, what purposes you went into another state via airline and um, and now you can, cannot even predict whether what's gonna happen next and the flights are being canceled. So why am I concerned about it right now? Because tomorrow I will be flying, I'm flying with the United Airlines, but I cannot tell. I have not seen any United cancel yet, but I see American, ton of American Airlines cancel their flight. So I'm getting a little bit concerned about it because I really need to get home as well. Um, and um, I miss my family. <clears throat> And also, it is really unpredictable and don't know what's happening right now. Um, I seen my friend, a couple of my friend, their flights were canceled too. They're stuck on the airport and uh, <clears throat> and they are not telling them what's what's next, you know, and not giving them any time frame because the people saying in the, in the airplane or the flights uh, or the airlines are saying they, they don't know when, you know, is the next flight is going to be like it's very unpredictable why it's all kayas is going on it's it's just very tough time and i also was watching a video one of the person that who's um who was kicked out of the delta airline because uh he was not wearing masks that's what they claim but throughout the video i seen he apologizing and he's saying, hey, listen, guys, I'm, I'm wearing mask. It's not because I'm not wearing or compliance with the federal law, but I'm, I am wearing mask. So why am I being kicked off the, you know, uh, airplane? And uh, please let me go because I need to go to the Houston. And, uh, and but they're not listening to him. And they just told him, hey, we just got to have a simple conversation with you. Just get off the airplane. So he got off the airplane after you know finally being told over and over that the flight is not going to leave until you get off the airport so finally he stepped out of the airport they behind him closed the door of the plane and then he was he was like my my stuff is there guys my bag is in there and uh, they were like you you get your bag but he was like my bag is there i need my bag so finally somebody opened the airplane doors and get the bag for him and give it to him but he has already have a check luggage that is gonna arrive to a destination, but they just kick him, kick them out of the airplane. So I'm just trying to understand so many disputes happening, whether it's a mask, whether it's just so many other things, I cannot even explain that to you. But it's getting scarier and scarier that um, we are very short with our words and we have no mercy. We need to really understand that we really should uh, care for each other and we should not treat each other like this and we should be fair with each other. If somebody apologize and, you know, comply, then leave him, leave him alone. But you don't have to show your power or, you know, or override the power or show that you're in a power and, you know, kick somebody out there. Somebody you don't know how, how urgently they have to go to uh, go to their family. Somebody waiting at the airport. So these kind of things really get me going. And uh, I thought it was necessary for me to make this video and post it right now. So make sure you guys share, subscribe and uh, put your comments below. If if you your flight was canceled, please let me know. Love to pray for you. Thank you so much. Have a good day.